Blog Talk Radio. You are now viewing Prophet H. Walker and True Light Pentecost Church. Those they are viewing and seeking after righteousness, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Praise up unto you of your brothers. Among yourselves. Uh -huh. Listen, listen now. Read. And it shall come to pass that every song which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. church that we earnestly contend for the faith. Amen. I believe I shared last night. Uh, it's no time now to start getting That's discouraged. Right, Amen. 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 Amen, brother. Uh, Thomas won't be on that panel. Amen. Yes. Amen. We have the elder Ricky to move over to be moderator. Amen. Amen. And uh, elder Thomas will take his place. Uh, again, church, understanding that these are difficult times we're in. Uh, you saw the catastrophic event in New York Amen. on the eastern seaboard. They don't know what to do, how they're going to solve this problem. But God is trying to get someone's Come attention on, oh, yes. to wake up a people. It's not about any political election. It's about turning back to God. And we have to make up our mind that we are the witness bearers of the yes, truth. Lord. And if we get discouraged, what's going to happen to those who are trying to find the path for your message? So we got to hold on. And we cannot uh, base our future on anything that we can do personally for ourselves. It's good to climb up the ladder and to be successful to a degree. But everything in a success in a natural context must be for God's glory. That's right, Father. And it has to be for the Spirit. Yeah. So we need to be, we walk by flesh, or the fleshly being, but we're not in the flesh, That's right. we're in the Spirit. Yeah. And so be if any man have not the Spirit of God, he's none of his. Yeah. So let's understand what we are about. We have a job to do in this vineyard, and we're going to do that which God has commissioned and commanded for us to do. Yes. Now, our panel from left to right is Elder Marshall, Amen. Elder Jose, our moderator, Elder Ricky Smith, Elder Kevin, and Brother Thomas. Amen. So, again, uh, before uh, we get into that, uh, let me just uh, turn, turn and get me right quick. Uh, 2 Timothy yeah. chapter 4, verse 1. Charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. In other words, everybody in an earthly body sooner or later you got to die. Amen. And God's going to judge you. Amen. Read. Preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heed to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. They'll turn from the truth. And Amen. shall be turned unto fables. <coughs> but watch thou in all things. And fables means lies. Yes. Amen. Yes. Something sounds good, but it's not real. That's, right. That's what they'll turn to. They'll turn away from the truth to hear a lie. 
Amen. And we see that dispensation of time right today. Read. But watch thou in all things, endure affliction. Endure affliction. Do the work of an evangelist. Do the work of an evangelist. Of a preacher. Uh -huh. Make full proof of thy ministry. Make full proof of thy ministry. Now here's what I'm trying to explain to you tonight. We are called to do a work in the vineyard. Each and every one of us has a ministry. And we have to fulfill that obligation as we've been taught the truth. We've got to bear witness of this truth by a living standard that yes. God has placed in our heart. And we cannot get discouraged. I feel this heavily on my heart tonight. Amen. We cannot get discouraged. That's right, prophet. There's nowhere to turn back to. There's nowhere that you can run. Amen. To escape your responsibility. Don't you try it. And you know the story. Amen. 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 So let's not let's not put ourselves in any position to be any wise discouraged or think possibly this is not working. It's working. Oh, yes, God Lord. wants it to work. Yeah. It may not be working the way we want it to work, right. but it's working exactly how God wants it to work. His church is going to be one accord, and we're going to speak yes, the is. same thing. And there's not going to be divisions or denominations among the true church of God. Yes, now, before we get to the panel, let me just jump in here. Uh, Matthew 24, chapter. I just want to uh, share this brief uh, passage with you. And you should hear wars and rumors of wars. Yes. See that you be not trouble, for all these things must come to pass. Nations shall rise against nations. You see that today. Yeah. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. Yes. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted mm -hmm. and shall kill you and you shall be hated of all yes. nations on for my name's sake. Yes. The true church of God today, and I'm talking about the true like Pentecost church, you are hated above any church group in yes. this world yes. because we defend the faith without compromise. And we're not going to compromise. Oh, right, again, let's turn to uh, uh, Jude right quick. Verse 3. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Yes. That you earnestly contend for the faith once delivered. That's the original teachings of the apostles. Why is it not taught today? Why is the apostles' doctrine so uh, compromised and words added on, words taken away, once saved, always saved, and all these new type of ideologies coming into the Christian faith, when from the beginning it was not so. Amen. Again, brothers and sisters, let's go right to our panel again. Uh, to my left, Elder Marshall, Elder Jose, our moderator, Elder Ricky, Elder Kevin, and Brother Thomas. Uh, we're going to start right in that order. Amen. Praise the Lord that you like. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord that you like. Give honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life. Amen. Give it up honor to our prophet, Prophet Miss Walker, and my young lady, Mother Walker. Give the honor that is due today. Uh, so, nice text going to be from Jude, uh, verse 3. And it states, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and to exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Now, uh, like Prophet stated, you know, we're in the last days where wickedness is just getting out of control. Amen. You know, it's all over the place. You know, everything that's in this Bible that's written, you know, that was going to take place concerning the wickedness and the abomination and desolations is taking place right now. And like we've been uh, stating, you know, we got a wicked man in the White House, yes. you Amen. know, named President Obama who don't care about standards of holiness, don't care about nothing. And, you know, we refer to him as the beast in the book of Revelation simply because he is the Antichrist that is leading the whole generation into sin. And what we're here to do, we're here to let you know to come out and from among them and be separate. You know, right. we're in a time now where sodomites and lesbians is getting out of control. They got uh, certain cities where they uh, promote child pornography. You know, we are going through some wicked wicked times and the only way people are going to be saved in this last dispensation of time if they call on the name of Jesus and get it and be converted the right way according to the Bible and come into the true church of God underneath our prophet and be type, uh, taught the right way and also in the book of uh, Matthew 24 it also states you know if you shall see uh, abomination desolations 
uh, spoken by Daniel the prophet, come into the holiness place. You know, the holiness place is a place of protection. Yeah. And that's what we need right now because America is going to hell, basically, because they turned their back on God. And, of course, God is beginning to turn their back on them, uh, you know, according to the New York situation. Destroy the city. Letting people know to wake up and come out of darkness. Be Amen. separate and come into the holy place because that's the only freedom you're going to receive. Pray much strength to the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the for there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. See, people think that just because grace abounds that they can just continue doing what they're doing because God's going to forgive you. But if you turn to Romans, the first chapter, it says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in the sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live, in their, live any longer therein? So that's telling you right there that you cannot continue in the sin once you're delivered. You don't go back doing the same thing you did before. You don't go back drinking and smoking and saying that, Oh, this is... I, we, I, God know we're sin. Yes, God know you sin, but we know it's two different types of sins. It's got willful sin and sins that we do that we're not aware of, and we try to ask God to let His Spirit lead and guide us so that we don't do those sins. But we don't continue in the sin. Amen. 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 So praise the Lord, you like. Praise the Lord, you like. Thank God bless the Lord. Wonderful day. Amen. In the goodness of the Lord, amen. We give our great God, Jesus Christ, all praise, honor, and glory, all honor to our great prophet, the only prophet, the final messenger, amen. And he laughed in evil and wicked times, amen, to declare what thus said the Lord, amen. I said, Prophet Walker is the final messenger, amen. The true prophet of God. Thank you, Lady Mother Walker, and her beautiful actress, amen. Honor to God, and thank God for the panel. And we go tonight with contending for the faith as the prophet Ford stated we are in a battle between good and evil right and wrong God versus Satan the true church versus the false church and many of you keep wondering why we always point out that Obama is the beast again as we run out times past Obama has passed more laws for the lesbian uh, sodomite y'all call them J-E-Y no such word amen in the movement, he has put two lesbian supporters, or lesbian themselves, in the Supreme Court to solidify Roe v. Wade, amen. They pass the laws, every time you look up on the news, they pass more laws for asylum. I think it's passed a law in a county in, in Dallas, where they get medical benefits for sodomites and lesbians, amen. But how can two men and two women get benefits when they're not even married, amen? God created male and female, amen. He told to replenish the earth. And two women together having sex cannot replenish the earth. And two men, God forbid, together cannot replenish the earth. They cannot have a baby. But your President Obama, and I wouldn't vote for Obama, Romney, none of them devils, amen. On top of being devils, they all multi-millionaires. And what does a multi-millionaire be there care about the working class people, amen? I'm going to stay at home and vote for Jesus, but the people out there who have money, y'all go out there and put a proper walk on the ballot, then you see two light vote, amen. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. It's a good day to be saved, amen. Yes, it is. amen. I say praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're in God's house. We're safe. Hallelujah. We, we built our house on a, a foundation, a solid foundation, which is Christ Jesus. Amen. All under the him, he is the most high. Yes. yes. All under the prophet H. Walker, true man of God, so great the battlefield. Honor to all my brothers and sisters in Christ. It's good to see you today. Amen. Amen. And with that, our text is exactly what we're doing and what we've been trying to do when we go on our rallies. Amen. What we're doing right now, we're honestly contending for the faith. 
that was once delivered unto the saints. Amen. A common salvation where they live holy. Amen. They didn't believe in fornication. Yeah. Amen. They didn't believe in watching R-rated films or X-rated films. Yeah. Amen. The women uh, had a head covering on their head. No makeup, no jewelry. The men didn't, uh, uh, the women didn't wear jeans, uh, the tight jeans. The men sure didn't wear tight jeans. Amen. Amen. That's what we represent, not Amen. what the world represent. Amen. 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 And people have to wake up. My goodness, uh, Prophet Walker just brought out uh, the Matthew 24th chapter. And yeah. I want to go into something real quick. Amen. Because the signs are all around us. Uh, there's no excuses. Amen. But the people, see, the thing is this. When I was contending for the faith in Savannah, I went off on my own and began to preach. And I was telling the people, amen. Now, you want to start singing, hold hands and singing kumbaya when something bad happens. Amen. Like 9-11, everybody was humble. Yeah. Amen. I said, but there's a vicious storm on the way. Amen. Watch how it's going to devastate the East Coast. Amen. amen. I was telling them, I said, you see those, 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 those trucks? That's the National Guard going up. To, to, to this disaster site because I saw something big on the horizon amen coming down the lane amen, amen. and with that the Bible in uh, Luke chapter 21 I'm going to start at verse 25 and say and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon my goodness I believe this 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 uh, uh, Frankenstorm aka uh, uh, Hurricane Sandy yeah. hit on a full moon but yeah. the significance of that is when it hits on a full moon, the tide will be even higher. Amen. This was the perfect storm. Amen. And in the stars and upon the earth, it goes on to say, distresses of nations. The nations are in distress. Yes. Anytime it's a time of war, wars and rumors of wars, uh, uh, homes, little huts being bombed and homes being bombed, uh, children. Amen. You know, that's what happened in war. Yeah. The stresses of nations. Amen. The economy took another blow by way of this vicious Frankenstorm. I heard one town, they say, matter of fact, it was a town called Babylon in uh, Manhattan. Say, oh, we're still going to have our Hallow's Eve festivities, even though this a vicious storm hit. Are you crazy? Amen. My goodness. Well, it's no marvel that that little town was called Babylon. Amen. Because uh, New York is via New York. Yeah. Amen. Like I brought out in the teaching. It is very wicked. Why? Because they allow those sodomites to be married. That's right. Amen. Not just New York, but the surrounding cities have been influenced. I think New Jersey got a, a, a legislation coming up as to whether to allow these sodomites to get married. Right. But you better wake up and see what's going on. The scriptures are coming alive in your life, and you have a chance to see it with these vicious storms. Amen. And make the right decisions. Don't let two nasty men and two nasty women get married. Because in the sight of God, they can't. That's a fascination that you come up with, along with the Antichrist spirit and Barack Hussein Obama. Amen. It's time to wake up. It goes on to say, the stress of nations with perplexity, a state of confusion. People yes. are walking around perplexed, especially if you don't have Christ Jesus. Amen. It says, now get this, just what we saw say, the sea and the waves <laughs> roaring. They got to do with the great storms that are coming upon the land. Now, New York, you escaped Irene, but you didn't escape this. And there's more, uh, uh, my goodness, you see the sign. I told, when records are being broken, you got to pay attention. Amen. My goodness, you say this is the worst, one of the worst storms in U.S. history. But more to come. Historic fl flooding, destruction of millions without power. And they're in darkness. Not just any type of darkness, but a darkness that you can feel. If you Amen. don't have Christ Jesus, you need to wake up. Amen. Be blessed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. Um, Praise first, Lord. I like to give honor to God who's ahead of my life. Amen. Amen. Um, this is Prophet H. Walker. Amen. Brother Lynn H. Walker. Yeah. The church and um, everybody that's here today. Um, the text clearly states that we have to contend for the faith. But before we contend, we first have to know what faith is. Um, Hebrews 11 and 1 states that faith is the substance of things so forth, the evidence of things not seen. We have to have faith every single day. Yes. On, on our jobs, with our kids, with just life in general. You know, everything is based on that. Sometimes the substance is just we hoping for it. We may not even see it. And evidence, the evidence, 
you know, it, it's not there, but we know that spiritually it is there. Amen. And, um, you know, during these times, these evil, wicked times, that um, things are happening at a, a rapid pace, and um, we just have to stay focused on God. That's the most important yes. thing. Amen. Amen. God. Amen. And, um, I was looking at something in um, 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy um, verse 19. It says, Nevertheless, the foundation of God stands sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that named the name of Christ depart from iniquity. That means, to me, repent. Amen. That means turn to God, the first love, you know. And um, pray my strength, Lord. Let's go to the book of Revelation, chapter 2. I'm going to pick up around verse 5. It states, Remember therefore from whence thou hast fallen, and repent. See, the first thing that Jesus taught to the people was to repent. You know, you can't be saved and sanctified unless you repent of your sins. You know, in the scripture right here, as I continue to read it, it said, And do the first works. In other words, do the original teachings of the apostles and the prophets. You know, the Bible states that without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. And in the book of Isaiah, there's a pathway called the pathway of uh, the, the highway of holiness, yes. if I'm not mistaken. You know, holiness is the way to heaven. Yeah. And like I state, if you ain't got holiness, you're not living the sanctified life. You can't inherit the kingdom of God. And those that are out there, you know, living the life of sin and, and doing whatever you want to do, you best to take heed. You know, God has... You know, did a, a, a strong, powerful thing through this New York. He is getting people's attention. I hope y'all understand, you know, the, you can look at the subway, subway sink, electricity gone. People can't even get to work. I mean, how do people going to eat? You know, can you imagine how they going to eat? They ain't got no job. The Bible says if a man don't work, he shall eat. God has did a number on New York because the people has rejected God's righteousness. And it's important. You know, to accept God and His holiness so we can be protected. And uh, with that in mind, let me continue to read this. It says, do the first works or else I will come unto thee quickly. Now, did he say, I come as a thief in the night? And another scripture says, you know, the day that you hear my voice, hearten not your heart. You know, with the day that you hear Prophet Walker's voice and you hear true light, humble yourself. Because you never know, nobody knows when your last breath going to be took. I was thinking that today. You know, people walking around talking about, I'm going to do this tomorrow. I'm going mm -hmm. to do this next week, next year, and all that. Mm -hmm. Next year is not even promised. Five minutes is not even promised. Yeah. The best yeah. thing for you to do is repent and submit yourself to the Word of God before it's everlasting too late. And these people trip me out, just like other colleagues brought out. And uh, 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 Brother uh, Chance, he brought that out also earlier today, you know, even all this commotion is going on. These people still worrying about their own sinful works and their sinful deeds. And like I stated in response, it's because they've been hit by strong delusion. And, and with that in mind, let's go to 2 Thessalonians Amen. chapter 2. Let's pick up around verse 10. And it states, and with all deceivableness and, uh, of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Like I said, they rejected the word of God because they hate the word of God. And verse 11, and for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Do y'all hear that people on YouTube? The reason why... All these Americans so caught up in their own foolishness, even though what's going on, they blind to the truth. God blinded them where they can't understand. And that's why Jesus gave that statement to the disciples when the disciples asked, why are you speaking parables? Yeah. Because the unbelievers won't understand. It's hidden to them that are lost. That's what the Bible said. If the gospel is hidden, it's hidden to <clears throat> them that are lost. People, time out for being lost. It is time to get saved. Amen. It's time to come to the true holy church and get saved and follow the true prophet of God, which is God's final prophet, Prophet H. Walker. Be blessed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord.
I want to um, reiterate on what Elder Marshall was saying. Um, it says, remember therefore from whence thou art fallen. Now, I went, I've been attending, growing up in the church, I've been attending a lot of churches, and these, these churches, they know the truth, because I've seen where they allow women to wear pants in the church and allow women to do everything they want to do in the church, but when, when it came to one of the, the, the pastors or, or bishops had cancer on his deathbed in the hospital, he called into the church saying a lot of women don't allow women to wear pants in the church. So they know the truth. Amen. He's trying to correct what he's, what he's been doing so wrong, but it's, it's not time for that. Now, I mean, God said, and here, drop down a little bit more, it says, um, and I will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. It ain't time to repent on your deathbed. Amen. You got to repent before that. It's a lifestyle you got to live before God. You can't just sit up here and live however you want to live, and then at the end of your deathbed, now I'm, oh, I, I want to be right now. No, it doesn't work like that. God doesn't work like that. Amen. And people still don't want to realize what the elder brought out. Elder um, Collins, people don't want to realize that all these events are happening, and it's going to do nothing but get worse. Yeah. Worse and worse and worse. And... In Michigan, when I was in Michigan in 2003, I seen that they had a blackout for three days. They they purposely did that. They purposely did that to see what people would do. And now this is coming up, and now they know what they have to prepare for. People robbing people, and mm -hmm. people breaking into people's houses, and breaking into stores, and looting, and riots. They know what they have to prepare for. That's why you see so much the the National Guard and the Army and all and the Marines, they all grouping up because they know the destruction is coming and they want to put this they want to put this state in, at, in martial law. But people need to repent. Remember that first works and repent. Come unto the true holiness. Listen to what the prophet is saying. People don't want to they, they don't when they hear true holiness they don't want they 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 want to still continue in the sin. They want to continue to do what they want to do and say, "Oh, what's well, so special about your church?" And everybody's saying they're the true church. But we're lining us our scriptures up to the word. Amen. We're not lining ours up to, "Oh, he say, she say." Amen. This is we're using the word of God to back up everything that we do. Amen. Foot when it comes down to foot washing, when it comes down to communion, we we go by what. The Bible says we don't go by what some what somebody else say. Amen. Pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. 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 Give me a God for the panel for the comments from um, all the elders. Amen. Yes. I want to go to um, First Timothy four and one. Now the Spirit speaks expressly that in the latter that times, right now the end days. Amen. The latter times, some shall depart from the faith. That same faith that Jude told us to. Others contend for, amen, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And you have many people who used to be Pentecostal, and you talk about the faith, you talk about the Jesus only faith. We're not talking about the Buddhists and the Presbyterians and the Lutherans and the Episcopalians and the Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses, and we go on and on and on. All those are factions, all those are cult worshipers of the devil, amen. We're talking about a true Jesus only Worshiping church. The water baptizes in, uh, in Jesus' name according to Acts 2.38. We're not talking about the false church. Amen. We got T.D. Jakes and Crepto Dollar and Benny Hinn and Papa and all these false prophets who tell you that God wants you to be bountifully blessed. Amen. But you're going to be blessed according to the word of God through a relationship with God is based on faith. Amen. Not based on a a a material wealth or gain. We know that. Because the Bible says you can't take nothing with you. Amen. So I'd rather be poor in the natural but be rich towards my God in faith. But many people don't want to suffer away. They don't want to carry their cross. Amen. But the Bible says, Jesus said, take up your cross and follow me. Amen. This is a suffering way. So this is the faith that we are contending for when the false prophet is trying to tear down the faith, we're trying to build up the faith, amen. And again, wherever you go, you got rules and regulations. You got stop signs, amen. You got rules on the job. 
What's so hard about coming into the true church and following the rules of the Bible, amen? Oh, y'all too strict. When you go to work, that's strict, amen. You drive on the road, that's strict. But you don't want to do what God say do. You want to go to work because you get a paycheck. But what about your paycheck with God, amen? Because that paycheck with God will lead you to eternal life. But if you're disobedient, you would be in the lake of fire forever. So I'd rather follow God than follow man and adhere to the Bible, amen, and pick up my cross and follow after Jesus Christ, amen. Praise the Lord again, church. Thank God for all the comments of the elders. We truly are having a great time doing our amen. job as we want to contend for the faith. Amen. And, and with that, I want to get into the scripture real quick, uh, real quick in the book of James. In uh, chapter 3, verse 4, this pertains to the world. Those who have a world mentality says, Ye adulteresses and adulterers, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. So we are fighting against uh, uh, the world's standards as far as those uh, 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 with a, a mainstream way of thinking, uh, influenced by all these false idols on television, uh, Jay Z, Fifty Cent, uh, all of them. That's who we're fighting against. Those who say it's okay to live a fornication lifestyle, Amen. it's okay to be a part of the sodomite lesbian uh, movement and go ahead and stick up for them and uh, give them money. That's what we're fighting against. We Amen. are fighting for holiness. The only way you're going to see the Lord when you die. Amen. And you have to, the only way you can inherit the kingdom of God, make it into heaven, you have to have the Holy Ghost when it's all said and done. Amen. Amen. I was looking at uh, 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 how they used to have this show called Jersey Shore with, with Snooky. And my goodness, I never watched it, but you could just know because you know how uh, foolish and simple the world is by the glamorizing fornication and, and makeup, excessive makeup and what have you, and, and this and that, and drunkenness. Yeah. My goodness, now Jersey Shore is no more. Literally. That hurricane came through Atlantic City, about 70 to 80 percent of Atlantic, Atlantic City was underwater. Amen. My goodness, this thing is real. God is upset. That's why we are trying to tell the people we've been, Prophet Walker, been. Repent, lest iniquity be your ruin. Amen. You've got to repent. Be water baptized in Jesus' name. My goodness, he is the word of God. That's why we love the word of God. Amen. He said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Yeah. Love yeah. the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Amen. And love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah. Amen. And that's what we believe in here at True Light. That's why we fight so hard. My goodness, I heard reports of uh, sharks swimming in people's front yard. My goodness, and, 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 and it, it was so amazing if you look at the pictures, and, and I think Staten Island, New York has the most casualties, my goodness, they still got a bunch of people stranded. My goodness, they said, all I could hear was old people, you know, help, because, you know, sometimes they don't be having phones and stuff, and, 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 and my goodness, it, it, it's time to wake up. Amen. Amen. Let me go back to Luke 21 real quick. 21.36, it says, watch ye therefore and pray always. That you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass yes. and stand before the Son of Man. Repent yes, before it's yes, too late. Yes. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, also in um, 1 Jude and 18, it says, um, How did they told you that there should be markers in the last time who should walk up their own ungodly lusts? Now, it's kind of funny, but it's serious. You have rappers nowadays that's blatantly blaspheming God. Yeah. Blatantly. Uh, I think there's a rapper. I think Rick Ross, he says, uh, God forgives idols. You have one, another rapper. I think he came out with a, a CD called The Black Bar Mitzvah or something like that. It's like they blatantly, blatantly. It's like it's right in your face. They blatantly are sitting there disrespecting God because they're going after their own lust. Yeah. Not even think about repentance. And repentance is one of the biggest keys that you gotta have in order to, to receive the Holy Spirit, to receive God. You yeah. have to repent. You have to turn from everything that is on God. You have to live a holy, sanctified life. Yeah. That, that's the only way. That's the only way. But now in these times, people don't even look at that. They in fact, they try to make themselves as their God. Like they standing in God's temple, our body. God's temple declare themselves as God. You cannot do that. Amen. There's only one God, and God created your temple. Your body. Right. 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 And, you know, it, when the 
boils down to it is, is faith, but you still have to repent. You have to turn from your evil ways. You have to get water baptized in Jesus' name. And um, yes. pray my strength on the Praise the Lord. Thank God. 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 And, you know, keep in mind, people, you know, this is not a physical warfare per se. This is a spiritual warfare between good and evil. And what we're taking a stand for is what that is good. And the only thing that is good is revealed in the Bible. You know, like, we take a stand against sodomy and lesbian behavior and pedophile behavior and bestiality and fornication. And you name it. We speak out against those uh, sodomy and lesbian behaviors and all the sins of the Bible. And we take a stand for holiness. Now, what you see out today, like I stated in my first comment, you know, we got a wicked man in the White House named President Obama who have established where two men can get married and two lesbians can get married. Now, in New York, now I can see why God has destroyed that city because there's so much wickedness. Just the same thing as he did a number in New Orleans. Amen. You know, what was in New Orleans? They had Mardi Gras, uh, sodomy and lesbian behavior, yes. fornicate. They did it out in public, from what yeah. I uh, concern. And Mardi Gras, they have it where they have sex out in the open. Don't turn yes. watch it. Uh, pedophiles, child porno, all this stuff. God did a number on that. Amen. And the people still won't behave. And the same way with New York, just recently he destroyed that because what they got in there? They got two men <laughs> getting married, adopting children, abortions. They got child pornography, allowed child pornography. What in the world? This is, this is just plain wicked. People need to wake up and come out of that wickedness. This is, God is sending people strong to lose. These people are out of their mind. And if you don't come to the true church of God, you're going to get caught up in that. And like I said last time, God comes as a thief. You never know when he's going to come back. You know, and I'm glad God did a number on New York. I don't know about y'all, but I'm glad he did a number on New York. He might be talking about trying to have a little sympathy. Well, uh, New York is gone. And, oh, boo-hoo, boo-hoo what? You turn your back on holiness. Amen. You turn your back on holiness, God just saved you. And when he gets angry, he brings his judgment on a wicked generation. You know how this thing works. Amen. Even though you didn't even come into True Holiness Church, you heard it rather on TV or radio or cable. When God gets angry, he starts swinging. Y'all had put God in a position right. where he got to swing on. Amen. God ain't tolerating this mess that's going on in this world. I don't care how many laws you pay. Pass them all you want. Equality and yes. civil rights and all that. That don't mean two cents in the sight of God. God only cares about one thing, and that is holiness. Yeah. And the Bible states clearly in Hebrews 12 and 14, follow the peace with all men and holiness. What I wish no man shall see the Lord. You got all these preachers today calling themselves saved. You got all these uh, followers, these foolish followers calling themselves Christians, calling themselves sanctified. But by their works, they deny his name. Yes. You know, they disrespect the word of God. You know, they practice heathen customs. Amen. You know, they, on the job, they be friendshiping with the Sinamites and the lesbians. Yes, and the Bible says, and I believe in James chapter Jesus. 4, friendship with the world is enemy, enmity Hallelujah. of God. Yes. You, know, you can't be an enemy of God and call yourself a Christian. People keep in mind. And before I uh, kind of solace myself, I want to go to Ephesians chapter 6 now. I want to finish this off from verse 12. Amen. And this is what we are faced with, those that are viewing on where YouTube, Daily Motion, or uh, every which way that you like may be led. And it states, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Like I stated, this thing is not necessarily physical, Amen. but it's against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness and what? High places, Amen. White Houses, mm -hmm. principals, uh, high schools, businesses, police departments, Amen. media, entertainment, even cartoons. Yes. It's sad nowadays, you know, you can't even have your child sit in front of a cartoon, watch a cartoon. I remember back in the day, you can sit a child in front of the TV, you go and cook, make something, whatever. Amen. Child be sitting there watching TV. You can't even sit your child in front of the TV for two or three minutes without having this wicked abomination Amen. on TV. They got this mess of adult swim and all this nonsense. Yes. When they got cartoon characters cussing, swearing, fornicating, yes. drinking, yes. sodomy, yes. lesbian, all Amen. this stuff. For what purpose? Why are they put? See, these people are smart. 
They smart, even though they wicked, they got a clever personality. They know kids like cartoons. They know kids enjoy this. So they put their wickedness in there for what purpose? To get their youth. Because they know the youth is the future generation. That's why you see generations so messed up. And if you notice, you know majority of sodomy and lesbian behavior is in them high schools, the middle schools, the colleges. Yeah. The youth is corrupt because the people at the top are animals. Yeah. So that's why Amen. I thank God for True Life Christian yeah. Academy. Amen. We were bringing up our children the way they should go. So when they get older, older they'll contend for the faith just like we did. Amen. You know, this is very important. This is a spiritual warfare. Y'all got to come out from among them, be Amen. separate, be baptized in Jesus' name, follow after God's final prophet before it's everlasting too late. And again, when God's judgment comes, it's too late for repentance. Amen. It's time out for, for, I'm sorry, I didn't know, and... You know, uh, please forgive me, Lord. It's too late. Because when God comes back, time ceases. Amen. Time is up. So while you got the time right now, humble yourself. Repent and come out of the darkness. Because when God show up, I believe Jesus said, just like the time of Noah, the time of the Son of Man, the same thing with the Son of Man when he comes back with judgment. You know, the people didn't believe until God showed up. But when God sh uh, showed up with that storm, it was too late. So take heed. Don't let it be you. You know, when God Amen. comes back, you left out of holy. Because you do. Just like the Bible said, the books were open, and those names that were not written in that book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Pray much strength to the Lord. Amen. Pray the Lord, saints. Lord. I want to thank God for the word that's going on tonight. Um, I'm going to go from 1 Timothy 6 and 10. It says, For the love of money is the root of all evil, yeah. while, which while some coveted after, that they erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Now, it's funny because the same thing that the rappers and all these actors, they, the churches are teaching the same thing as far as having all these flashy cars and all this money, and it's all because of money. They all want money. Like I, I, seen, I was watching a YouTube video about um, Kanye West. He's sitting up here saying he sold his soul to the devil. And he's trying to be clever about it, but he ain't, he ain't trying to be, he's trying to be sarcastic at the same time, but he sold his soul to the devil. Nobody says that on national television and not, and not have done it. And, and it's all for money. And the same, that same spirit, that same Antichrist spirit that Jesus was tempted with three times in the New Testament when the devil came to uh, Jesus and said, Bow to me and I'll give you all the kingdoms and the nations, that same Antichrist spirit is living today. Don't, 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 don't think that it's gone away. Jesus, when Jesus left, when he died on that cross, it ain't going to do nothing but get worse. And that's what it's doing. And uh, you see the churches do the same thing and try to glorify money. Their money is God. That's what their money is. That, that's what they look forward to every single day. Oh, you send send a hundred dollars and seven hundred and seven dollars and seven cent, and it's the seven cent that's gonna get your blessing. Loose here, devil. That ain't gonna you ain't gonna get no blessing from that. And, and, they, and they keep they keep coming up with all these different clever ways to get all this money. And the actors and everybody they they all in that. If you watch some of these movies, when you uh, it's all in the movies that they um that what they're doing. And people, the people are just, they're ignorant. But we're not ignorant. The word says we're not ignorant of saving devices. So we are to address it, but people, they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear true holiness. Amen. 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 I'm going to go put to the book of Matthew. And many people, you watch us on YouTube, and as the elder for stated, what makes our church the right church? Well, first of all, again, as my first day, we have the one prophet, the final message, amen. We follow the Bible, we obey the Bible. Now, I'm going to put my points in, in Matthew 7, chapter. I'm going to drop down to verse 20. Wherefore, wherefore, by their fruits you should know them. Now, everyone that said to me, Lord, Lord, should enter to the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. So again, the will of the Father is contained in the doctrine or the faith. Amen. We um, brought out in the book of Jude. Now, many of you go to church, churches, amen, and you under false 
prophets. Amen. But again, there's only one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Like I said, many will say unto me, Lord, Lord. Will say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have not prophesied in thy name? Then he called the name of Jesus Christ. Crypto God does too. Watch. And thy name had cast out devils. And thy name had done many wonderful works. How many times have you been on the internet? Or oh, we didn't save 3,000 souls. Amen. You didn't save nay and soul. Ain't no water baptism. Ain't no veil covering. Ain't no sanctuary amongst the women. Women covered, covered up uh, with makeup, jeweled up. Amen. Fingernail polished. Toenail polished. Amen. Cleavage showing. Uh, blonde hair. Blonde streaks. Praise God. When you're not a blonde. Amen. Well, watch. Verse 23. And then what I profess to them. And it's a red. Not me speaking. I'm proper speaking. It's Jesus Christ speaking. I never knew you. Depart from me, ye the word iniquity, or a life of sin. God said, I don't know you. So while you claim you know God, God said he don't know you. Amen. Amen. So if God don't know you, how you going to make it to a holy heaven? So again, I think that was first stated. Repent, come out from among them, and be you separated. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank God for all the comments from the elders. Amen. We're having a great time. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank God for this occasion and for this opportunity. Yes. Uh, and, and with that, I was just thinking how uh, I believe uh, hip hop pretty much started in New York. Yes. Amen. And, and how it was infiltrated by something called the 5% Nation. Yes. And what the 5% Nation is, it came out of the Nation of Islam. Yes. It's called the Nation of Gods and Earths. Amen. And they consider the black man as being Allah. Yeah. That's what they call the black man, Allah, because they believe that they are gods. And this is what infiltrated into the hip hop movement a long time ago. Yes. I'm talking about all the way back to Big Daddy Kane and yes. Rock Kim. These were all five percenters. Yes. Amen. And this uh, uh, wicked uh, 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 influence, antichrist influence that you see in Jay Z, wanting to call his name uh, 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 Jehovah. Yes. And, it's something like that. You see the yes. mentality when they think that they're gods, and that's exactly how they act. New York is extremely wicked. Of course, the island of Manhattan, you got the UN who favors sodomites and lesbians, pass yeah. special rights for them. My goodness, who believe in uh, uh, decreasing the population uh, through uh, homosexuality and, and, and through uh, uh, vaccinations. That yes. A lot of times in vaccinations is the thing that kill the people. That's right. They just had a breakout where they gave them steroids and, and that was worse and killed a whole bunch of people. Yes. And this is what they do, the wicked United Nations, the home of Wall Street. Uh, uh, in the island of Manhattan, extremely wicked. My goodness, where they love money. Mm -hmm. My goodness, and you see this devastation, but those who have a chance, who still have the breath of life, you need to repent. Amen. Before it's everlasting too late. I want to go to the scripture real quick. Uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. Travail upon a woman with child is like when a woman is having birth pains. They get more frequently until that big thing happens. Amen. Amen. And you notice more catastrophic events are happening closer together until that big thing happens. Amen. Yeah. But our hope is meeting Jesus Christ in the air, hallelujah, to be with him forever. Amen. Hallelujah. But the wicked, it says, they shall not escape. But it goes on, verse 4, but ye, brethren, are not in darkness. Amen. We don't do hip-hop. No Amen. more. Amen. We don't do drugs no more. Alcohol no more. Fornication no more. We don't have sodomite lesbian friends. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. It says that the day should overtake you as a thief. It says you are the children of the light. What light? Of the true light. The true knowledge of God when you have to live holy. Uh, uh, pay attention what you watch, what you listen to, Amen. what you say out of your mouth. Yes. Amen. We are not of the night nor of darkness. I'm going to skip down real quick. Verse number 9 says, For God had not appointed us to, to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Awake to righteousness and sin not. Be blessed. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, Praise the Lord. Yeah, we definitely are having a good time tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, Amen. I want to go to the and um, 16 say these are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lusts, and their mouth speaking great swelling words, having men's persons and their admiration because of their advantage. So yeah, there's a lot of people out there now, you know, they think just because they with the devil and you know, they got the upper hand and 
things are going certain ways, like, like God is not looking at them. Like God is not seeing the things in which they're doing. The thing about that is that um, God is always in control. That's right. Yeah, Lord. God is deep in God is to create. So, uh, you know, you, you can sit around and you can think that you're going to win just because you're out there blaspheming God and being blatant and doing all these different things and not even repenting about it. Oh, God. Nah. <laughs> It, it don't even go like that. Amen. It don't even go like that. Pray much thank the Lord. Amen. Thank God for the panel tonight. Amen. I'm sure you might have come back and go to every day. I'm going to enjoy the panel. Amen. I appreciate you to be seated. Uh, let me just can, kind of conclude here. The Word of God comes forward again bring a people up to a level whereby that people accept from the sight of God. Yeah, yeah. If you take note in the book of Acts, yes, chapter 3, and all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for the doctrine. Yeah. Now, I've said before, everything we do is for the kingdom of God. Yeah. Nothing matters but the kingdom of God. No matter what we accomplish in the natural, if it's not for the divine purpose of God's kingdom, then it's all in vain. And in chapter 3 of the book of Acts, uh, put the, uh, uh, let's pick up in verse uh, 17. And now, brethren, I, now, want, church, I want that through ignorance you did it, as did also your rulers. That's before you got converted, before you heard the truth. Amen. But those things which God before has shown by the mouth of all his prophets. Uh, yes. All his yes. prophets in each dispensation of time. Yes. That Christ should suffer, he he, he has so fulfilled. Now, Christ suffered and died. That that is that has been fulfilled. That prophecy has been completed. We are now in the New Testament dispensation of grace. Read. Repent ye therefore and be converted. That your sins may be blotted out when the time... If you repent and you still don't have a change of heart, you are not converted. That's right. Amen. Amen. The apostle says repent and be converted. And is a conjunction in addition to repent and be converted. Uh huh. That your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. At the judgment. Uh huh. And he shall see Jesus Christ which before was preached unto you. Yes. Whom the heaven must receive yeah. until the times of restitution of all things which God has spoken by the mouth of all his prophets, of his holy prophets, since the world began. Since the world began, uh huh. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren. Among yourselves, uh -huh. like unto me. Him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. Yes. And it shall come to pass that every soul... Listen, listen now. Amen. Read. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Now again, the word of God is very true. You have to hear the spiritual need that God has set over the church. Amen. In order for us to be complete in Christ Jesus. That's why you said it was needful for me to write unto you that you earnestly contend for the faith once delivered. Brothers, since we've heard the truth, we know the truth, we've been taught the truth, we're living by that truth, it's no time now to get discouraged. It's time to pick up your cross and press toward the mark of the high call. And I've said before, I want to say again, if the one next to you or in front of you or behind you does not want to go, you Come go on, yourself. Because the soul that you say, that's your soul. And your soul shall stand before the judgment of the Lord. And you can't take nobody with you. You can't even take the prophet with you when you stand before the judgment of the Lord. You got to stand there yourself and give him that Amen. Thank God for the panel. Thank God for the word tonight. How many feel encouraged? How many feel like pressing on towards the mark? Hallelujah. No drawing back. No giving up. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, let's go to our question there. It was good in my soul tonight. Amen. Jump right into the questions. And you, 
of verse 3 give the adjective that brings out the importance of the teaching. All right, evangelists, I'm Dr. Hudson. Praise the Lord earnestly. How many agree? Correct. Amen. Right. Question two. In the first letter to Timothy, Paul referred to the Godhead as a what? All right, Elder Wilson in the back there. A mystery. This is very important. The Godhead is a mystery, and no one will be able to completely understand how God on the cross prayed to the Father, yet in the same time he was the Father. You're not going to understand that. So the best thing you can do is use line upon line, Amen. precept on precept, whenever you're dealing with the Godhead. And one thing, the basic foundation states clearly, in Isaiah 45 and 5, I am the Lord. There is none else. There's no God beside me. So you're dealing with personality and spirit. John 4 and 24 says God is a spirit. Amen. Now spirit don't have flesh and blood. A spirit is not a person. A spirit can indwell in a person, but a spirit is not a person. So we won't let nobody trick you into no kind of trinity. A God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, three separate individuals making up the Godhead. That's a lie. Amen. There's no such thing as uh, the Holy Ghost being an individual of itself. Yeah. Holy Amen. Ghost is the divine spirit of God or the spirit of Christ. Give me Romans 8 9 right quick. So we can have some clarity on what Paul called the big mystery. That ye are not in the flesh but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. If the spirit of God dwell in you. That's if the spirit of God dwell in you. That's Christ the Holy Ghost. Is that right? Yes. If the spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, God spirit. and Christ held in the same context because he's speaking about one Spirit. Ephesians four and four and four. There is one body and one Spirit, even as we are called in one hope of our calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Amen. All right. So again, we see that the Holy Ghost is no more than the Spirit of Christ or the Spirit of God. Yes. All right. The dominant term for Jesus in his humanity was the title, three words. All right, Master Marshall. The dominant term for Jesus in his humanity uh, was the title, three words, uh, she said God. Uh, Elder Brooks. Son of God. Son of God. And his humanity, his human form, all right, was Son of God. All right. Question four. Both Paul and Peter gave warning to the church concerning leaving the faith or falling away. Why was the warning given to someone? Now, some of y'all got it. Come on, raise your hands. All right, Imagine Evans. Um, I put. Is it, um, faith. It, 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 I don't think you're reading it correctly. God gave warning to the church concerning leaving the faith or falling away. Why was the warning given? She said to faith them that have them go together. She said to save them. To save them. Oh, oh, oh to save them. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll agree. No help. All right. Who else wants to? Didn't I call you? Did you miss? No. Okay. All right. All right, Evangelist, what would you put down? All right, watch. Paul and Peter give one to the church concerning leaving the faith or falling away. Why was the warning given to Evangelist Jackie? To warn them. <laughs> now, 
Different word. I put fleshly body. But uh, didn't I say First Corinthians two fourteen? The natural man. It's in the same context, but that's why I put a uh, uh, First Corinthians two fourteen. <laughs> All right, natural body not allowing the spirit to have full control. Amen. Uh, yes. Well, uh, here we go, God. Well, well it, you, you got me on the technicality because I didn't say no more. All right, all right, it's correct. All right. Uh, question six: What would be the main reason for a church member not to believe the Holy Bible? One word, and nobody gonna miss that. All right, good evening. She said, "I'm believe." Who, who put something else? One, two, three. All right. All right, Beth, can you, what would you put? Oh, uh, let's turn to Hebrews 11 and 20. I mean, I, I, my fault. I, I meant Romans 11 and 20. Thank you. Hallelujah. I'm, it's unbelievable. Thank you, Lord. All right, all right. But, 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 uh, would you put, Brother Kenny? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call faith correct, but, uh, I, I really want unbelief. Amen. All right. Uh, question seven. True church is identified by the code of <coughs> the manuscripts. Code of obedience. Amen. Correct. All right. Now, question eight. To further prove our statement concerning denominations, use your answer in question seven connected with Paul's, it's supposed to be Paul's instruction in 1 Corinthians 1 verse All right, imagine. Verse 10. Verse 10. That you all speak the same thing. All right? Question 9. Paul warned the church concerning festivals such as Halloween and Deuteronomy 18 9. Thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. True or false? I got some lines. Amen. Who put you? Uh -oh. One. Who put you? I didn't read it right. You put two. Three. Four. Oh my God. Five. Oh, I got you. Paul didn't write Deuteronomy. <laughs> Moses wrote Deuteronomy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Are y'all reading this? Read too are y'all reading the question? Just read too fast. That's all. Just read too fast. All right. Question 10, 20 points. Explain John 3, 16. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. The key word that shows separation from divine to earthly is the word he also was referred to as the showing sacrifice. Be carefully 
Concentrate on the word sacrifice and complete the last part of your question. All right. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. The key word that shows separation from divine to earthly is the word. Uh, you better just call me Joe. Praise the Lord. I'll try this one. Uh, I put son. And the last part, I put the Lamb of God. Okay. All right. Who agree? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody agree. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, Evangelist Willis. The first part I put begotten, and the second part I put Lamb of God. Yes. Begotten. Amen. And the second part is the Lamb of God. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Now, well, now I'm not going to say how many uh, got that one right, how many got it wrong. Well, I will say this. All right. The total is 120. Uh -oh. Actually, it's 110. Very good. It's 100. Anybody got below 100 failed. <laughs> And don't raise your don't raise your hand who failed. Amen. All right, yes. Well, question one. Yes, sir. In question number one, could it be possible that the adjective could have been lethal? Well, if we turn to uh, uh let's go to view. I think the word earnestly would trump out uh, needful. That we earnestly. Now it was need for him to write. But that way, uh, what, what, what is he writing about? Right. Earnestly contending for the faith. Amen. Now the letter was needful, but the action would be earnestly contending for the faith. All right. Amen. 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 All right. Well, it, it, the dominant title was, was uh, Son of God. The dominant title was Son of God. Uh, all through the scriptures. Son of man is, is mentioned, but not it was not as dominant as Son of God. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, good time to Bible class. Thank God for the panel. Amen. Next week, we're going to somebody going to get a perfect paper. Yes, Let's be encouraged. Let's not uh, let any spirit of unbelief right, trick us into not uh, being what we have been called and commissioned uh, to be about, and that's God's uh, true church. The events that are taking place in New York are catastrophic. Now, you just look on the news and see it, but somebody's going through that. Amen. Water's contaminated. Water's so contaminated they tell people don't even try to wash it. Amen. They're trying to correct the sewage problem. Can you imagine all them, what I believe, eight, eight million people affected? That's a lot of people affected. So we have to understand the importance of true light and how God has blessed us through storms and travail, through problems and through situations. And sometimes we look at Shiloh and we just take it for granted. Don't, no, don't take it for granted. That's a miracle from heaven. And, they, and some uh, kind of get discouraged uh, going to uh, uh, Savannah. If God opened up the door for us to have that church in Savannah, it's for a purpose. And we don't question God. We don't ask how come. We don't ask uh, how you going to do this and where the people. Forget about all that. Do what God told you to do. And that's to be a guiding light to a soul that wants to be saved. That's right, prophet. And we can make nobody want to be saved. One thing, we can be there for them if they decide to be saved. And we're not going to compromise. We're not going to add on. We're not going to take away. We're going to follow this book. Nobody else is going to do it. True Thank God for true life because God is well pleased with true life. We'll have you.
Blog Talk Radio.